What's up guys, in this video, I wanna be able to help you identify what we can do when we are given the midpoint of a line segment, how that can help us be able to solve for missing lengths as well as a missing variable. All right, in a problem like this, you can see we have a line segment, right? We have PQ, and it's saying R is the midpoint. And then we're given two expressions, which are gonna kind of like represent their length, right? Two little algebraic expressions here. 15x minus two is PR, and five x plus three is going to be RQ. Now, the, really the main important piece of information is right here. R is the midpoint. Because you have to think like, why would that be given to us? And what can we use with that understanding? And remember, like, like just maybe think of a line, right? If I said, this is the midpoint right here, what does that tell us about these two side lengths, right? What this tells us is these two side lengths are going to be exactly equal in value, right? If this was seven, and let's just say, you know, here we go, like here's seven, um, then what does this length have to be? Well, it has to be seven, right? Because the midpoint here is right in the middle, right? Between those two endpoints. So that means what that tells us is these two sides are going to be equal in measure. So this is very, very important because we have an algebraic equation, right? And whenever you have like an X or Y or whatever may be the variable, you know you have to create an equation to be able to find those values. Now, in this value, we're not only going to solve for X, but we also want to be able to find the value of PR um, as well as RQ. But here's the cool idea, guys. Once we know the value of one of them, then we can just duplicate it to find the other side, right? So before we get to that, let's not get ahead of ourselves. The first thing we want to do is create an equation. You have an X. So you have to create an equation. So all we're going to do is say, oh, well, these two sides, or these two um, line segments now, are going to be equal to each other. So let's write a algebraic equation to represent that. Okay, so now that we have an algebraic equation to represent that, we gotta go back to our like our good old algebra one days and say, hey, how do we you know, solve for x? When we have x on both sides, we know that when we wanna solve for x, we gotta get x isolated. So the first thing we're gonna do is going to get x to, over to one of the sides. It doesn't matter if it's your left-hand side, your right-hand side. I prefer to always put on the side where x is going to be positive, which would mean putting it on this left-hand side. Now you can see we have a two-step equation, so therefore we can add the two to the other side and then divide by 10. Okay, so now we found the value of x, and which is equal to one half. Cool, that was great. The next thing is, what was the value, like what is the measure of these lines, like P, PR or RQ? And so now what we need to do is we need to plug x in for, or we need to plug in the value of x into one of these equations. And for a lot of students, this can be kind of tricky because when we do that, I'll plug it into this one because this one seems like a more simplified um, expression. It doesn't seem like we get anything very exciting to work with. Okay, so you can see now we have a five times one half plus three. Just remember, we just need to do a quick little review of our fraction operations to be able to find this value. Because again, once we find this value, we just need to duplicate it to find our value for PR, okay? So again, this is going to be actually our length of RQ. So I'll just write that out, so RQ. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply this across, so I'll have a five halves plus, now instead of writing a three as three over one, I'm going to multiply by a two over two, so therefore this is going to be a six halves. Now again, follow me. Isn't six halves the same thing as three over one? Yeah, it's just being multiplied by two. And isn't three over one the same thing as three, right? So it's the same thing, like six over two is the same thing as three. Now, why did I write it like this? The reason why I wrote it like that is so I can get the denominators to be the same. Because remember, if you're gonna add fractions, you gotta have the denominators to be exactly the same. So in this case, I'm going to have an 11 halves. And now, if I wanna find the length of PR, so PR, then that is also going to be an 11 halves. And let's just say, just for fun, what if I wanted to go ahead and find the length of PQ? Well, then what could I do? I have 11 halves plus 11 halves, right? So it's gonna be 11 halves plus 11 halves, right? And remember when you have that, common denominators are the same, so therefore that's going to be a 22 halves, which you guys can simply simplify here to 11. Now this video is helpful because we knew R was the midpoint, but what if we don't know R is the midpoint? Then we're gonna have to approach the problem a little bit differently, and that will come up in the next video.